，加了是吧？啊，加了，加了，加了。
taking in this uh, weather um, and for uh, dealing with the sunshine. Um, I would like to ask uh, if, um, I, I know it's really hot, so just be careful. Um, if you're feeling some heat exhaustion, you know, go off to the side. We don't want anyone to faint on us, okay? Um, and also for uh, those that are more, um, those that have uh, umbrellas, if, uh, if you see someone maybe uh, elderly, if you can maybe give them the umbrella, that might be uh, helpful for them as well. Um, so after the ceremony is gonna get started now, um, after the ceremony is done, uh, the family, um, so some those that have flowers, we're asking them to turn to the right uh, when they exit, and for everyone else, if they can turn to the left. Um, and um, we have uh, a little bit of time, so it's going to be 4 p.m. Uh, when the uh, reception starts. So you have a little bit of time between the ceremony and the reception. And uh, if you'd like, you're more than welcome to stay here. Um, if you'd like to go somewhere, there's a lot of different attractions nearby. There's Niagara on the Lake. There's um, Niagara Falls and some other locations so feel free to go but please make sure that you're back on time at um, uh, at five o'clock so that, that way it will start sharp at five o'clock for the uh, for the reception so again I'd like to thank everyone for being here uh, sorry for that they were running late unfortunately there was traffic if uh, if you know the family in Dundas there was some traffic on governors so unfortunately running a little bit late but uh, we would like to start now and again thank you all for your patience and we'll continue the program
Check one, two, check one, two. Can you hear me? Can you hear me in the back? Hands up if you can hear me in the back, please. Thank you.
the day that we've been waiting for and looking forward to. It's finally here. I can't wait to be your wife. See you in a few. Love you all. woman to this man? Your mother and I.
At this time, while we remain standing, we're going to sing together a congregational hymn, which you will find on the back of your program. It is called, Tis Love That Makes Us Happy. standing, let's bow our heads together and invite the presence of the Lord to be here with us. Our Father which art in heaven, we humbly invite your presence and your blessing to be upon Andrew and Heidi as they enter into the ceremony that will unite them in the bonds of holy matrimony. Impress upon them the solemnness and the importance of their actions today that will impact their lives for now and for eternity. May your spirit be the guiding influence in the life of this couple and your blessing be poured out upon them this day and forevermore. We pray for your presence to be with us today, not because we're worthy, but because we ask it in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Please be seated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of God and before these witnesses to see firsthand the miraculous work of God in taking two souls and creating a new being bound together by eternal love. It is with joy and happiness that we as witnesses gather on this occasion to celebrate the union of Andrew Balbach and Heidi Rachel Lillian Lessica in the holy bond of marriage. Marriage is the oldest and most sacred of all the social institutions that God ordained for humanity. It was part of the work of creation and it should be understood as a gift from the creator. It was God himself that officiated the first wedding. Adam did not search for a wife. It was God himself who provided Eve for Adam. It was God himself who provided a home for the couple in the Garden of Eden. Andrew and Heidi, always remember that no person made this match. Always remember that it was God himself that arranged every apparent circumstance that brought both of you to this moment. You found each other by his grace, and just think of all the moments that led to this one. Heidi, as young people, your mom and dad could never imagine that one day 
they would get married and raise a family in Dundas, Ontario. I think when they were young, they didn't know where Dundas was. <laughs> Imagine the circumstances that brought a young man from Australia and a young lady from New Zealand thousands of miles away to meet each other so that one day we could be here. They met in a little place called Puss Lynch. Even other Canadians don't know where Puss Lynch is. And yet, Andrew, your father, traveled across the continent to a little place of Puss Lynch, Ontario, in order to be united with your mom in a little country church. And while he's not with us today, you have followed in his example, and you also got married to a Puss Lynch girl. Andrew, God himself knew that you needed Heidi. The scriptures tell us that God saw that it was not good for man to be alone. He knew that you needed a steadying hand to help you, a sympathetic ear to hear you, a mind to intellectually match you, and a heart big enough to receive all the love that you had stored up within you. And so he prepared a perfect help me for you. He prepared Heidi for this moment. Heidi, God himself knew that you needed Andrew. He knew that you needed a shoulder to help carry your burdens, a steadying hand when you thought you might fall, a mind to intellectually challenge you, someone tall enough, man, I feel really short right now, <laughs> somebody tall enough to see past the difficulties and see the solutions ahead and a will to help you achieve your biggest dreams. And so he prepared a perfect help for you. He prepared Andrew for this moment. I can personally testify that both of you have the ability to make a commitment with each other because I have seen you not only make a commitment with the Lord in baptism, but grow in grace since that moment, continuing in your walk with God through faith. When I moved to California, Andrew, you were very young, and I have seen you grow through the joys and also the challenges into the man that you are today. Heidi, it was my privilege to perform your baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And it's only natural that you would want to grow even more in grace by having one at your side who is your spiritual match. Andrew, there is something special to consider about Heidi's love for sunflowers. You see them all over today, all over. The sunflower is tall. Some of them grow as tall as 20 feet. It stands tall because it's looking for the sun. Heidi's height makes her your match. <laughs> but always remember that she's looking for the sunshine. But you also need to remember that Heidi is a very complex person, a very complex person. To help her have the best life, take the time to learn about every facet of your, of your being. What we call the sunflower is actually made up of many tiny individual flowers. These are known as disc florets. These tiny flowers are only noticeable as individual flowers when you look closely at the center disc of a sunflower. They all work together to make something bigger, something beautiful, something magnificent. They all work together to build up this sunflower. Take the time to discover every floret that is Heidi. When things seem to get difficult, also remember that Heidi is a great source of stress relief for you. Sunflower seeds are an excellent source of vitamin E, which has been shown to lower blood pressure while still providing energy and strengthening immunity. Andrew, God has provided this sunflower for you so that in every situation of life, she will be the person that you go to. She will sustain you, 
fill you with hope, lessen your burden, and give you the strength you need to pass through all things. Heidi's actually perfect for you. Andrew, have you ever noticed how many other beautiful and intricate details there are in a sunflower? From the tiny individual flowers completing the disc, to the petals, even to the ray of florets around, everything in the sunflower is perfect. Did you know that the leaves that reach further to the top, closest to the flower, are actually heart-shaped? Like the flower, for you, Heidi contains such intricate and marvelous details. And guess what? They're all created perfectly by God because he knew that you would need every facet of Heidi in your life. Another amazing fact about the sunflower plant is that you can use the entire plant from the roots to the very, very tallest leaf. Every single part of the plant is useful. Now Heidi, perfect as you are, did you know that sunflowers attract five times more pollinators than any other flower. <laughs> the reasoning behind this is that sunflowers warm up faster because they are westward facing flowers. Then westward facing flowers. Since a sunflower receives that warmth from facing the east with the sunrise, they basically become pollinator superheroes. And to top it off, their brightly colored palettes serve as a pollinator attractor as well. And with a single sunflower, you can have numerous tiny disc florets that are an excellent source for, guess what? Bees. <laughs> Heidi, no wonder Andrew was attracted to you. Your complexity fascinated him and your warmth and beauty attracted him to you. It turns out that Andrew does not think that he has enough hives. He decided that he needed to build another one. He wanted to build one with you, Heidi. He knows that you will be the queen in this new hive that he's creating. And he knows that that hive will bring the sweetness to his entire life. Bees work as a team. Each one plays a vital role and function within the hive that makes it work and makes everything else possible. You're a strong woman, and now, joined together with Andrew's strength, you're even stronger. As the wise man says in Ecclesiastes, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity the one who falls and has no help to lift him up. Each bee is its own, and yet they live together, helping and caring for one another. Bees are hardworking and tireless. They can make up to a hundred trips a day, pollinating a hundred flowers per trip and carrying a quarter of their weight in pollen. I have known Andrew in a day to be on the property, to help with projects that we have in Mariah Heights, to make it to the shop to work, to spend time with his friends, and still make it home to do the things that he needs, needs to do at home. He's a real busy bee. <laughs> and he knows that you can match him in this. From cleaning the hive, to collecting the pollen, each worker bee goes through different tasks that prepare them for the next. For this reason, a marriage relation that is thus consummated should not be entered into lightly, thoughtlessly or irreverently. It must be entered into advisedly in the fear of God and for the purpose for which he, the divine creator of the institution, ordained and blessed it. Only with this blessing foremost in your minds will your marriage be one of love, faith, and peace. Never allow any smoke to enter in to this hive. Rightly regarded then, marriage is the highest and happiest of human relationships, the preserver of true love, the foundation of the home, and the bulwark of society. 
I also need to mention that you are moving into your own home to start your own family, but you are also blessed because you are part of something bigger and something that will love you unconditionally. Look out at this assembled congregation here today. It's full of those who love you and care for you. They gathered here today, literally from around the world, because they want the very best for you. In a world where there are so many lonely people, you have been blessed to have so many that love you. Accept their love and thank God for it. In this modern world of today, marriage has lost its significance because it has forgotten that a new family is a miraculous creation from God himself. They teach today that marriage is one person uniting with another person and then the two of them live together, share assets and uh, file income taxes jointly. That's not marriage. Marriage is more than that. It is God's plan to create a oneness today. One, one firmly rooted family. Marriage is about more than finding the right spouse. It is just as much about being the right spouse. You will be the right spouse as you cherish as we learned on Sabbath in the sermon, as you cherish one another fully. Marriage at its core is an act of submission. For this reason, the marriage ordinance is used by God to illustrate the entire plan of salvation. As both of you submit one to another, self will become filled with the presence of the Lord and the two of you will and united. Your hearts will be united as one heartbeat. Your will will be merged into your partner's will. Your mind will become one with your partner's mind. Your thoughts will be one thought. You will be one. I want you to know that this is not a once in a lifetime decision. Instead, it's a decision to be reaffirmed again and again throughout your marriage. Each day, continue to nurture the commitments that you have made to each other and to God, and you will see this blessing for now and forevermore. Marriage is a covenant of faith and trust between a man and a woman. Marriage also is a covenant of hope that always endures. Marriage, therefore, is a covenant of love in which both husband and wife empty themselves of their own concerns and take upon themselves the concerns of each other as they love, care, and cherish one another. Amen. Amen.
Andrew, are you prepared to make such a vow of commitment to Heidi to live for her and for her only? If so, I ask you to express it to her now. Heidi, my bride, my love, the day has arrived, and here we are, with so many pairs of eyes on us. But let's try to imagine that it's just the two of us right now, standing here. I want to bring our minds back to the beginnings of our story. Do you remember the first time? I told you that you're beautiful. What did you do? Didn't you just blush and look away in total <laughs> silence? How about when we were finally able to visit each other in person? I would try to look deep into your beautiful blue eyes. But you were too shy to even let me do that. Right? How about later on, when I brought up the topic of marriage for the first time? <laughs> Look at how things have changed over time. Look at us standing here today. You know, our story is unique to the two of us, and I absolutely love it. You came into my life at exactly the time I needed you. Your sweet words, pure and selfless character, not only impacted me, but have totally changed the way that I live my life. You filled a void that I didn't know existed. You literally stole my heart away. And you know, I didn't even mention how beautiful you are yet. I can't believe I get to marry such a beautiful girl like you. And you really do look stunning on this special day. You know, asking you to marry me was the easiest decision of my life. You don't know how much you mean to me. And I promise to always love and to cherish you. <laughs> I promise to always be there for you in moments of uncertainty, worry, and stress. I promise to hold your hand, give you an unlimited amount of hugs, and always hold you close. I also promise to never stop teasing you and make you blush. I'm just so thankful for you and experience extremely grateful for the way that God has led us to this point. Thank you so much for coming into my life. Thank you for accepting me for who I am, despite all my flaws. Thank you for always encouraging me to grow individually and both of us as a couple. Thank you for loving me the way you do. Thank you for being you. I feel like I'm living in a dream right now. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you so much, baby. Heidi, are you prepared to make such a vow of commitment to Andrew? And if so, please express it to him now. My love, I'm going to start from the very beginning. We met when we were small in that Toronto church hall, which probably surprises all since it's a little hard to recall. We were just little ones, and now we're both so tall, 
<laughs> Today is our wedding day where love conquers all. You being only 12 years old and me being just 11, it's amazing how things unroll. I just know it from heaven. After a few years passed by, little did we know what would happen next, that you would be my guy for sending me that one sweet text. Because of COVID, we continued chatting online, not knowing in the future that you would be mine. As our time together unfolded, you made me extremely happy. Our love basically exploded, so this might get a little sappy. <laughs> I really love you, Andrew, more than I ever planned to. Quickly, our seeds of love grew. I really don't know what I did with that. I know that you were made for me, your character I so adore. I hope you know deep in my heart I could not love you more. Kindness, thoughtfulness, and compassion are all qualities in your possession. I love our strong connection with something that I'll never question. The countdown is finally over, all the way back since October. <laughs> Standing here with our love so strong, we're exactly right where we belong. I want to be yours for the rest of my life. Today is the day we become husband and wife. I pray that we face the right direction, only looking God's way, under his unfailing protection every hour of the day. I promise to love you each and every day and be with you every step of the way. I'll be yours when clouds are gray, and I promise I will always pray. I promise to give to you willingly and practice honesty daily, to always communicate fully and care for you like crazy. I promise to do my best each day, to love you more than I did yesterday. And I promise, promise your heart I will cherish, <laughs> so our love will never perish. I promise to never lose our spark, to do my best to make you happy, even if things go a little dark or maybe a little fast. I promise to use a little more onion to add some spice every now and again. <laughs> That's the best I can do for now. No promises about any cayenne. <laughs> <laughs> you are so kind and thoughtful, and I vow to be the same. I promise to be helpful if all of this is my aim. And you I know I can depend. You are my best friend. From two hearts to one we blend, I know our love will have no end. Today I commit myself to you forever, and I vow to support your every endeavor. You are my greatest treasure, and my love for you will never settle. We're on the same team, you're the love of my life. It feels just like a dream, today I choose to be your life. We're going on a journey, planned by God for just us two, beginning the moment we both say I do. Year 2022, August 29, now I'm yours and you are mine. I love you forever and ever. <laughs> Loved ones and friends, you have heard their public testimony one to another before God and you as witnesses. And we are now to witness the confession of mutual love and desire that has brought Andrew and Heidi to this sacred occasion. They have come seeking the blessing of Christ and the sanction of society that they may, must be lawfully and happily joined together as husband and wife. I'm glad that you've already joined your hands together. You're gonna have to say this loud because you're on that side of the microphone, okay? Ready? Andrew, do you take Heidi to be your wife and, to, and do you promise before God and these witnesses that you will be to her a true and devoted husband, true to her in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others, you will keep yourself to her and to her only in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, 
to live with her and cherish her according to the ordinance of God till death do you part. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Heidi, do you take Andrew to be your husband and do you promise before God and these witnesses that you will be to him a true and devoted wife, true to him in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others, will you keep yourself to him and to him only, in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him according to the ordinances of God, till death do you part. I do. <laughs> For as much as Andrew and Heidi have consented together and pledged their faith to each other in holy wedlock and have witnessed their vows before God and this company of family, friends, and loved ones, I therefore, by the authority vested in me as a ministering servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, pronounce that they are husband and wife. Therefore, what God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. I ask the congregation to please rise as I kneel with the couple for the blessing, and I ask you to bow your heads in reverence. and loving Heavenly Father, we come before you today knowing that your presence has been here with us and having the assurance that not only are sins forgiven, but lives are transformed, miracles are performed. And we thank you this day for allowing us to be witnesses of a new miracle, the miracle of a new being being formed today, a oneness which none but you could create. We thank you for this blessing, knowing that you will be with Heidi and Andrew all the days of their life as a guide, as a counselor, as a spirit to lead in all things. We know and we are sure that this is true, not because we're worthy, but because Christ's presence has been here with us today. And so we say, Lord, bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. Amen. You may now kiss the bride. Here we go. You may now kiss the bride. It's my honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Fallback.